Uh, my understanding is uh, preparation is very, very important. If MFM is going to do well in, uh, in CAF uh, competition, they must start preparation right now. After the back, uh, the back stuff, the management, the preparation is now. So you can't just uh, have a few days preparation and expect to do well in, in the league when any competition is so difficult. So that is the problem to me, is preparation. If uh, management give us uh, uh, their support in time to bring in some, because now we need experienced players, I won't lie to you. We need the like, MFM need experienced players in defense line, because uh, I have to, in my review of what happened in the, this concluded season, I find out that, that we concede a lot of goals, which we in every game, and most of those goals is from square play because we don't have total defenders. You need to bring in top players that is going to help. Yeah, most of the game, uh, most of the team in uh, car for uh, competition and motion play to the flank. So and this quick play. So you must to be able to cut off that. You need to bring in uh, top defenders with uh, experience, uh, quality decision making in maybe few position or other team. Bring in attack, bring in midfield, bring in defense line. Then we are good to go. What is next thing is training preparation. There's a lot of controversy statement I have from a lot of people, you know, people saying these things as people have said a lot of things. But personally, I know that you know that it's very, very okay. In as much uh, that uh, um, there's a little issue in a window closing and window opening during the time they want to because the day came very, very late. But MFM did everything possible to make sure that Stephen has to go because he wants to go. So I don't, I don't think we have any MFM. MFM don't have any issue with Stephen. You know, we don't have any issue with. Uh, you know, there's an uh, uh, intermediary. We don't have any issue with anybody. So, if there's any controversy uh, concerning you know, they, you don't have anything to do with Manchester United Community Football Club. Because we always claim, we always need. Most important thing uh, we have to follow uh, the structure of Dr. Lukoya. We cannot uh, go, uh, go beyond that. Money is not a problem. We must follow who was he wants to achieve. What did he want to achieve? He has money already, repositioning. So if Stephen Ode believe that living is the best and we advise him this is what he wants to do, we, we just want to let him go because money is not our problem. So if it is other clubs, that may be a problem, but not much of American community football club. Before we tell my notice, he came back. He was done. I told him, No, uh, we are man being that's a big mistake from you. This is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. You know, sometimes that is the reason why I always uh, advise uh, Brazil players and Nigerian players. People want to be in Spain, people want to be in Swiss, people want to be in Italy, people want to be there, people want to be this. Nigerian Premier League are uh, far better than Division 3 in anywhere in the world. Nigerian Premier League is even far than bet is better than Division 1 in any club in the world. I can tell you that. And I know what is that. I've been there. I know what is happening there. Some of them don't pay. They don't have money to pay. What they are doing is to bring players for the club, not show the player and try to expose the player to the top league. That's what they are doing. And if you play very very well in Nigerian Premier League you can Side straight to top league, then what are you going there to do in lower league? What are, what are you going there to do? So, to me, I don't know, it's not acceptable. The only thing I accept is grassroots player going for maybe uh, academy team in Europe is acceptable because of the training basics 
but when you are beyond 18, it's so difficult. So that is the reason why they must try and uh, listen to us, because we know football. We advise the best. We want the best for them. But when the person don't want to stay there, he don't have any option because he will not give you the best. So that is it. This is a great player with a strong character. Um, I think I'm going to miss him, but in football, he, he's like Paras, Soja Go, Soja Go, Paras for men. We have started uh, um, looking for players to close this gap. Started uh, you know, scouting for young players as well. We want to bring in some experienced players and young players as well. We are going to, it's all about building a formula. You know, when you, when you get player, experienced players, they don't uh, try to establish younger ones to watch and look from them. By the time they leave, you start having problems. I'm trying to solve the problem by, you know, creating some academy uh, players in MFM. MFM was uh, after the academy this, this year. It's very important so that we can be able to have a good process. It's fully players from under 10, under 15, under 20s, uh, you know, 17 or something like that to be able to grow in into the mentee. So we'll not be struggling. Or oh, at least with that, we can do well in five straight season. If there's something like that. But if there is not, no is going to struggle. The reason, because the player you wants to bring in, you don't know if a tough team as well have to get to the player, and they may decide to pay more money more than you. That's why that uh, you know the academy process is very important. So he's a great player. The we miss him. As for me, I didn't want him to go in the first place. As a coach, you know, I advised my player, this is the best for you. This is the best. I want you to stay. I want you to play cafe, uh, you know, Champions League. I want you to win a good scorer. So many things are happening, but sometimes the decision as well count. Because if a player don't want to stay, best thing you do, one is to bringing closer, advising, letting him know the risk and the benefits, letting him know his advantage and advantage. But after all these things, if he decides that he wants to go, best thing to do is to let him go. Because if someone is a player that is not happy for the moment, that's what you can do. He can, he can never give you the best. We have so many players uh, in the Nigerian Premier League, but you know, I, being a coach, uh, is I just have to talk to them. But I'm not the one to do the job of them coming to MFM. The management I have to talk to the management or those that are involved in the players for players to come. I just uh, spoke to them, and I find that they are willing to come. They are willing to play. That's the most important thing. The most important thing is to find out if player want to play that place. One player said, this is what I want, I want to play. This is where I love to play. And I will explain to, I've explained to them the difference between the MFM team and other teams. You know, some players as well don't like a staying in camp. In MFM, you'll be in camp. You'll be in camp no matter your experience. You'll be in camp. MFM, uh, we don't have a house for players and we don't want players for now to stay in different places because uh, we don't have uh, one training uh, venue. We have like three training venues. We use a uh, testing, we use uh, uh, a gege, and that's where we have a training ground at prayer city. That's why I have to give it to Lagos State for everything that I've done for us. It's very important. So with that, we have to be in the same place and I'll be able to meet up with training program. Yeah, fantastic. I have to give it to Lemsi. And if 
FF, they have really, really done well. They have really, really done well. I'll give it to them. You know, to manage human beings is not easy. It's so difficult. If you see a lot of uh, uh, controversial statements and some controversial character from so many venues, problems, fights, issues, and uh, you start to see hammer on, on top of uh, teams, you know, suspensions are fine. But uh, I think it's very, very good. It's good, it's nice. But uh, football education is very, very important. People, I think, like what MFM wants to do this season, we need to educate our fans. It's very important. As I'm talking to you, we are preparing maybe in one month time to play MFM fans and the MFM team. We will make sure that all our Lagos fans, we invite them, come and play football. From there, we educate them.